Philadelphia. A woman's body was found near the Green and Sullivan County line, but was taken to Terre Haute today for an autopsy. RTV6 reporter Ann Kelly has been in Linton all morning and has the new details at noon. Yeah, the small town of Linton really hit hard by all these new developments. The most recent being that two men are being held in Green County Jail this afternoon, being held on murder charges. Those two men, Randall Crosley and Jordan Buzzkirk, you can see their mugshots there, both in their mid 20s from the neighboring town of Jasonville. And both police tell me were linked to Caitlin Wolf's disappearance early on. Now, Buzzkirk also linked to Wolf through Facebook, their friends on there. The arrest of both men just hours after the body believed to be Wolf's was found in rural Sullivan County. And earlier, when I spoke with police chief Troy Jarrell, I asked him if he knew of a possible motive for the suspected murder. All I'll say is, you know, I mean, we arrested them or, um, you know, booked them in for for murder. Uh, you know, we we believe that, uh, uh, you know, at this time that I mean, they knew what they were doing, you know, all along. We don't believe it was an accidental type thing. Now, the body found yesterday evening has not been identified as the, 19, the missing 19-year-old, but police saying they're almost certain it is. They also will not release any information right now on how uh, the teen died, assuming that it is the teen, but say that if it was Caitlin, it appears she was killed shortly after being abducted. An autopsy to confirm whether it is Caitlin, and if so, how she died, is scheduled for later today. Reporting from Greene County, Ann Kelly, RTV6.